do dog collection around Norsby for the NCDC, so all the sick and stray dogs we, we will pick up and we will take them. We will decide there whether the dog is worth, you know, whether we can save them or not. This is the eighth year for the Paws Walk, which aims to draw people together who share the vision and mission of the Royal Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. But being the only veterinary clinic in the country, RSPCA only receives funding and assistance from donors. Well, we get no funding from everybody, so from, from any government, so we, uh, we rely on fantastic sponsors and donors and our clinic, uh, which we run to help raise money, and our fundraiser. So this is, a, it's a fundraiser as well today, but it's mainly about awareness. Meanwhile, it was a big day out for canines and the owners in Port Mosby who were up and early ready for the annual paws walk. <laughs> it is probably the only time dog owners and their four-legged friends get the chance to walk together with other dogs and their owners. Ease up. Ease up. Thanks for the camera. <laughs> It took almost two hours. Others braved the distance with stopovers at water stations, while others didn't last too long. And for one in particular, it was a special day for him and his owner. It was both their birthdays today. Bear, a Siberian husky who turned eight today, was the center of attention. It was also a day out for the shelter dogs that joined in today. The animal shelter houses around 80 dogs and cats all up for adoption. Someone adopt this little doggy. 